Good morning guys, it is day four on the tour de Mont Blanc. I'm leaving the Gite where I stayed yet last night. Incredible food, incredible company. Every day it's like a new group of hikers that I get to talk to. Waiting for the bus back there to arrive in a couple of minutes just to head up to the pass, which will be the crossing into Italy. Yesterday we had to make our way down here just to stay in this place. Now we're gonna go all the way back up again and continue on the trip. There's the bus. I think it's time to head over right now. Let's go. After a quick uh, bus ride, we made it up here, not all the way to the top of the pass where I thought I was heading. It wasn't this bus, I think it was the next one. Not to worry, I'm gonna make my way following the river. Another incredible day, blue skies as you can see. Temperature is just right for walking here in the Alps. And the amo. After walking for about half an hour following the river on a nice uh, ascent, we get our first uh, climb or the major climb of the day. I can see it up ahead. It looks daunting. Over here on this side, where is it? There's a refugio down there. And if you stay up there in the ridge, then you will have to stay somewhere by that glacier back there, which uh, I think would have been a great night. A uh, cold night up there, but with amazing views, especially of the glacier. Oh, by the way, today I did not forget my uh, picnic uh, lunchbox because I set an alarm and I got it with me. So yes, sandwich, an apple, a tomato, a boiled egg, and some uh, dry snack like uh, peanuts and, uh, and such. I also realized today at the albergue uh, or the jeet albergue, uh, I think I'm in Spain right now, at the jeet, I noticed that they have a luggage uh, transfer service here and speaking to a few of the hikers they told me that they pre-booked the entire trip uh, and with a tour company and the tour company offered them the luggage transfer service so all they're carrying is just water like a small backpack and they're able to do longer distances. So luggage transfer here on the Camino, I think here there's less of a stigma than on the Camino but who cares, if you need it, use it. Now let's tackle this climb. Look at that. Small break but uh, by a waterfall, decided to have uh, the egg and the snack just before the final climb. I think I can see already the pass up ahead is getting uh, 
you know, the slope is getting nicer and more doable. I also saw a group of uh, French uh, soldiers that are practicing here. So a couple of uh, jet fighters flying overhead. So, you know, I had to put the drone away. Probably have lunch once I make it to the pass or to the next uh, refugio. Look at the panorama here, man. Hmm. Especially on this side. Well, as you can see, we finally made it to the top, to the pass. We're at 2,512 meters of elevation, and I think this is the border between France and Italy over there. From here on out, it's just a steady descent all the way to Refugio Elisabetta, which according to the sign, is about an hour away. I think I'm gonna have lunch somewhere in between because it's getting windy and cold up here. Well, there it is, first uh, refugio here in Italy, right behind me, made it here at 2.04 after walking on a flat riverbed for a while, extremely windy right now. I also have my lunch just by a rock there on, in, on, in the shade. I had a sandwich and I had also an apple. Plenty of water, just walked 12 kilometers today and tomorrow is the last day not of the Tour de Mont Blanc, of course not, before I make it to the town where I'm gonna be taking a rest day. This is a refugio, so yesterday I stayed at a jeet. Those are the two things that I've been staying at, jeets and refugios. I haven't done any camping because I don't have a tent. So yeah, let's go into the refugio and have maybe my first cappuccino of the trip here in Italy. Let's do that. Made it to uh, my room with this uh, double bunk bed over here and an incredible view of the valley which I'm gonna be walking in tomorrow to the town of Comayor. Had to wait until 3.30 for the check-in, not a big deal, I just enjoy the view while having uh, my first cappuccino here in Italy and also aqua frizzante. Incredible waterfalls not far from here and the glacier, I mean this uh, refugio has one of the best views so far, because day two or day one wasn't bad at all either. So yeah, bunk bed like in El Camino, probably take 
this one, the lower one, right? Let's settle in, take a shower, do my clothes. You know the routine already by now. I was really expecting some pasta for dinner tonight, but the risotto did not disappoint. After that, we follow it with uh, some meat and vegetables. It was all right. And then, of course, some dessert. And I had a cappuccino because I missed the Italian coffee in France. Tomorrow is uh, another great date. It's going to start out flat or with a little bit of an incline. And then we have a massive like a thousand meter climb or something like that. I haven't really looked into it. And then from then on, it's just a descent into Comayor where I'm gonna be taking a rest day the day after. What should I talk about on that day? Maybe I'll do like a gear video, the things that I brought, the things that I wish I didn't bring, which is not really much. I only have a few things that I'm carrying with me. And uh, yeah, day four on the Tour de Mont Blanc. Can't believe how fast the trip is going but we still got a little bit more to enjoy. See you tomorrow at seven.